Hey guys, what's up? Agronome is here. Today I will show you 7 plus 1 tips to improve your performance on the battlefield. These tips will be good for newbies, but mainly I will focus on players who already have insight into the game and some knowledge about the game. Do you ever wonder why after you played well in a game and killed heroes units, but you still didn't make it on the top? Why others rank above you? I can tell you the answer. The small things matter. They are adding up and making a huge difference at the and you need to focus on the bigger picture. These tips are not a secret and might be obvious or you already know them, but if you know them, it's time to start do doing them. Let's jump into the tips. Tip number one, camera mode. Use normal camera mode instead of the cinematic mode because the normal camera mode allows you to zoom out farther so you can see your character from better distance. It will also help you to get a bigger view of the field so you will be more aware and see more of what is going on around you. Here is a compare example. Now I will show you again so you can see what I am saying. Tip number two, riding mode. You need to choose the correct settings, camera angle and movement depending on what you are trying to do. My advice is, if you control your movement on horse with keyboard, you can use your mouse to look around, get more information about what is going around you. This will help you make a better, quicker decision during the battle. The reason why I do not recommend the other option where you can control your horse with the mouse is because you don't have the option to look around freely, you can only turn with it. Tip number 3. Artillery menu. I would recommend the press and hold option because you press it and hold it. If somebody is coming you just lift up your finger and it's toggle off. Simple and easy. And saves you few seconds. The other option is to press to open and press to toggle off. This can be painful sometimes. Let's say there is a moment when the enemy is coming in front of you. If you panic and can't react quickly, you forget in the moment to press it again. You can lose couple of valuable seconds. Tip number 4. Unit control. I cannot play without this and you will see why. I'm always moving and controlling my units with X. If you keep spamming X or pressing it too many times, the unit will change their formation and I bet you really don't want that. You can change these settings if you untick it. This will block the change formation while pressing X no matter how fast you're spamming it. Tip number 5. Unit flag. This option I like to call a little trick, it's not a huge boost but can be very useful especially to get information about enemy units. Why? Because it makes their banner visible even from very far distance and also even if they are hiding in tall grass or bushes their flags will stand out so you can see the enemy units. Tip number 6. Kill camera off. Personally, I really don't like these settings because it's confusing sometimes. The biggest problem with it, it's cut my view range and reduce my awareness extremely. It looks cool, but not effective in my opinion. Tip number 7. Increase the minimap size. If you believe or not, it's one of my favorite tools. Why? Because I can increase the minimap size I'm using it on the largest size and I'm coordinating from the minimap. I can bet that probably my right eye is looking at the minimap 70% of the time while I'm on the battlefield. It really boosts and helps my awareness and also helps to learn the map easier. And it also helps to get information in shorter time so you can make better faster decisions during the game. Bonus tip. Every second and every small thing matters. When you wait for the battle to start, you have 5 seconds. Use that 5 seconds efficiently. What do I mean by this? During the 5 seconds, you cannot move, but you can move your units with X and you can increase the minimap size so when the battle starts, you already did two actions. You are more ready to fight and have an advantage compared to those who are just sitting and waiting. This tip is extremely useful in territory war and in field battles when it's very important who gets the first objective.
summary of this video is to give you some tips that I found really helpful, improve awareness and overall performance. Plus just a few little things you can change in the settings which can give you an advantage compared to the others. I know I have said it this maybe 100 times, every little thing matters. It really does, trust me. Doing these small changes I have seen big changes in the performance and it puts me at the top of the rank. If you want to be competitive and improve your in-game experience I recommend trying these tips. Also the tips can help become a better team player because if you see something what your teammates can't see you can warm them and maybe save their units or similar situations. You see incoming from left or right your teammates doesn't react because their awareness is not that good as yours and let's say you have pike units with you you can save lots of ally units and that can be a game changer for you and for your team good luck guys i hope you found these tips useful if yes and would like to see more content guide please subscribe and if you try out any of these tips please let me know in the comment below or if you have any tips would you like to share with me i would also love to read them in the comments if you want to talk chat with me and build our community please join my discord server and as usual, have a great day.